Fuel injection prices have dropped to all-time lows with the introduction of bolt-on, self-tuning systems that are virtually maintenance-free. However, as fuel injection prices have come down, so have carburetors. In fact, we recently came across the Brawler brand of carburetors with a price tag that was too good to resist. A Quick Fuels Q750 has provided nothing short of crisp, powerful results. But the Brawler Race Carb looks to have the same features at a $200 discount. Is the low price tag evidence of a subpar piece? Well, that is the question we set out to answer. And both brands fall under the Holley Performance Parts umbrella. So we decided to also pick up the Holley Track Warrior, which has all the tuning bells and whistles to give us a well-rounded test group of bolt-on performance. Our test piece is a Street Strip 427 small block Ford producing 600 plus horsepower. The Q750 is used for the initial baseline number since it is the carb we are most familiar with on this engine combination. After dropping three jet sizes out of the box, the quick fuel carb lays down 537.5 pound-feet of torque and 611.3 horsepower. At first glance, the brawler looks nearly identical to the Q-Series carb. Even the machine marks on the metering plates and the throttle body match its quick fuel predecessor. Both are made from billet aluminum and feature four-corner idle adjustment and adjustable air bleeds. The throttle linkage is slightly different, with the brawler being a more universal design. Anxious to wet the fuel bowls of the brawler, we quickly set the polished and purple anodized carb on our engine and throttle down. We got a rich fuel curve as expected and went through two rounds of adjustments, ending at a 70-80 jet split. Power numbers are very close to the Q-Series carb, twisting out 535.7 pound-feet of torque and 607.5 horsepower. The brawler shows slightly more airflow, but it's not significant enough to make any determinations. Fuel flow is also higher. Without performing further testing on the flow bench regarding booster sensitivity, we attribute the difference to booster placement. Still, the difference here is not enough to pick apart for a street strip carburetor. With results within a few horsepower, we feel the fuel curves were close enough to compare the two carbs. The brawler is capable of being tuned to match the Q-Series exactly. Our opinion is the brawler has all the technology of the tried and true Q-Series wrapped up in a smaller price tag. No obvious corners were cut to reduce price. Finally, we have the Holly Track Warrior, which features adjustable emulsion bleeds as well as adjustable power valve and idle circuit restrictors. These are all great features for a track-only carb, but we wouldn't recommend this carb if you're doing a fair amount of street driving. This race calibration starts out lean and requires three rounds of adjustments. Airflow is up significantly and the fuel curve is very different requiring an 86-96 jet split. Out of the box this would not perform well on the street. At part throttle the fuel curve was way too rich. Holly's track wire lifts the peak horsepower to 613.3 but leaves peak torque behind at 532.5. So here are the takeaways from our three carb dyno test. 
First, the Brawler held its ground against the Quick Fuel Q series in both performance and quality. The lower price tag simply makes this an attractive choice. Second, both the Q series and the Brawler race carbs would be a good choice for a street strip application. Our Holly Track Warrior proved to be designed for wide open throttle on track performance. If you are strictly race, Trackmaster is better suited for, with additional fine tuning abilities. Ultimately, it boils down to understanding the engine combination, its primary application, and the specific design of the carburetor. I'm Eric Labor with Prestige Motorsports. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay tuned.